joining us. We have Tracy Bush. She, of course, is our local food allergy specialist. We love having Tracy on the show. She comes on a lot to share all kinds of great recipes with us. And it's really exciting to have you this week in particular because it is Food Allergy Awareness Week, correct? Yes, it is. It is. And I see you're, you're sporting a little bit of the spirit. You're have, you have teal. <laughs> I, I planned that. Absolutely. <laughs> Now talk with us a little bit about this week and why it is so important and what kinds of things go on to kind of raise awareness about food allergies. Well, Food Allergy Awareness Week is a great time to just, um, a couple different things actually. It's it's not only showing awareness to people that don't know much about food allergies, um, you know, school staff, grandparents that aren't really too familiar with it, um, but also finding great products and different items that you can use. Um, there's tons of things, great resources out there that are available now. And you know, part of what I do each day is finding information and sharing it with others because you know, this product might not be available in your state or your town, but at least they know about it and it's another resource, excuse me. <clears throat> well, tell us a little bit about what we have out here on the table today. Okay, well, for Food Allergy Awareness Week, I have a great gluten-free option. Um, I'm using DeFratelli again. I love their Truly line. They come in recycled cardboard um, instead of cans, which is great. Um, and tomato, as you know, has uh, potassium in it, so that's a, a plus. And also, I don't know if you know, May is apparently National Gazpacho Aficionado Month. <laughs> I did not know that. Yes. <laughs> um, so what I did is I decided to see what I can come up with as far as gazpacho. And, you know, gazpacho is just a cold vegetable tomato soup. And I figured, well, you know, everybody comes to me and says, I really need something for lunch that's kind of grab and go. Everybody's mm -hmm. grab and go, we're all in a hurry. So I thought, well, gazpacho's okay, but what if we froze it, had the spoon inside it already so that you can literally just make a bunch ahead of time, you kind of unpack it and just go. You have everything there, you have your cup, you have your spoon, I even snuck in some avocado in there so it's kind of a creamy gazpacho and Perfect. you're ready to go. Wonderful. <laughs> so talk with us a little bit about what all is actually in this. Really, it's just um, one of the Truly um, tomatoes. I used the one that had the extra spices in just so I didn't have to add a few extra things. Um, pureed avocado, um, water, garlic, some sunflower oil to make it a little bit more creamy, and you know things like sea salt, coriander. Um, very basic, very easy. I sliced up some peppers and put them in. Um, you can garnish them on the top, and then you're done. Well, as always, I'm amazed by your creativity with coming up with these recipes. I don't think I could ever do that. It's very neat and very convenient as well because you can just grab it to go. Now, how did you come up with the idea to freeze it? That's great. I actually just, it kind of just boomed into my head. <laughs> you know, I, I was thinking about different telling and I'm like, well, gazpacho, gazpacho. I'm like, well, that's kind of boring. And I'm like, well, what about gazpacho ice cubes? And then it just kind of evolved into this. So. Fantastic. It was a light bulb moment. Yes. It sounds like. <laughs> and what a great idea for summer ideas, you yes. know, frozen treats there. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Now, what are some other things that you might could do with this product? Oh, goodness. They have um, other products as well. They have salsas. They have pizza sauces. Um, I mean, it's a great thing to have in your pantry, especially with, you know, Memorial Day weekend coming up and, uh, you know, things happen during the summer where you have people pop over all the time. If you don't have time to run out and grab your tomatoes like I do and slice them up, this is a really good option just to have in your pantry, kind of put a salsa together, a dip. I mean, even something as simple as putting it together with some gluten-free pasta, very easy and very flexible. Absolutely right. sounds great. Summer is the time for salsas and dips and you yeah. always have chips out by the pool and that kind of thing. So. Sounds fantastic. Well, is there anything else that you can tell us about Food Allergy Awareness Week? Anything that people might want to do or be involved with this week? Well, I would just say, you know, check out your local resources. Go buy a product that you would not normally buy. Take, take a moment and read your labels. A lot of people don't know how to read labels. And that in itself will educate you as well as others and, you know, get you going to where you need to be. Fantastic. Now, is this recipe on your Facebook or on your website? It's actually on my Facebook page. I will reshare it. It is also on DeFratelli's Facebook page as well. Um, if anyone is interested and they want to email me directly, I'd be happy to forward it to them as well. Fantastic. And what is your Facebook name? It's under Nutramom F-A-L. Perfect. Perfect. Well, this looks delicious as always. We always love having Tracy on the show to share all of these great recipes with us. I think you might could turn me into a good cook, maybe, and that would <laughs> be sure. hard to do. But I'm I think sure Tracy you're fine. Could do it. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and we will look forward to talking with you again soon. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, and we will be back right after these messages with more of the Mountain Television Network.